I get asked a lot about the Walton House, so today I thought I'd take you behind the scenes of the Walton House, both the interior of the house and the exterior of the house. The exterior of the house was on the back lot of Warner Brothers Studios in Burbank, California, and it was really just a facade. There was a front, there were sides, and not a complete back. There were a couple of actual workable spaces inside. Uh, when you went in the house from the back porch, where you actually saw that there was sort of a root cellar there too, that wasn't really a practical root cellar. You couldn't actually go down inside it. But that room, if you went in the back door of the house, the space there led into what became our makeup room when we were on the back lot of the studio. So that was where every morning or whatever time the actors came in, when we were called to get our hair and makeup done, we would go into that room and our hair and makeup people were all set up with their tables and lights and whatnot in there. The other space that was available was off of the front door. And it was really just sort of a small holding area. And there were some stairs that went part way up and turned a corner. And then again, just a holding space. You could also get to the second story of the house via sort of an inside ladder that took you up to a landing that sat behind the various different windows that you could see from the front of the house. So at any point, if we were clearly outside and you could see all of the house and there were lights on, or you could see maybe John Boy, you know, in his, in his window or leaning out or something like that, uh, that would be basically standing on just a wood platform up there and they could put lights up there so that you could see John Boy's light on at night but that was the extent of all of the spaces that you could get to inside the house. Sometimes when we were outside we would shoot the actual porch scenes on that exterior set and when we were shooting on the exterior set you couldn't actually see through the windows into the living room so anytime you see anyone on the porch and you're able to actually see into the living room, that would have been shot on the porch inside. All of the interiors of the Walton house were all on stage 26 at Warner Brothers Studios. So we had the living room and kitchen as one section and you could see the stairs that went up to the second level of the house. But those steps, once we turned the corner and went out of sight, there was really just a very small holding platform there. So when we all had to come running down, we all had to be pretty crammed up there on that little area up at the top of the stairs and we'd all come running down. Or if we went up, we all had to kind of cram into that little space. And then there was the door off of that mid platform that went into the grandparents' room people ask about the door near the front door of the house. There was a door there off to the left and I have no idea what that was supposed to be. We never really established what it was, whether it was a coat closet or another entrance into grandma and grandpa's bedroom. I don't know. Uh, there was also another door in the kitchen uh, in between the stove and where the sink and counter was off to the left. That again, we never established what it was. Probably some sort of utility closet or pantry type space. But what was really out there, you go out that door and there was a space on the set where the property department would have a working kitchen where all that food that you saw us eat, they would prepare in that kitchen and then bring it through that door to the table. And then of course there was the back porch area that where we exited to leave the house if we were going to be going out the back porch. All of the bedrooms were on another part of stage 26. So John and Olivia's room also doubled as the girls' room. All they did was change the furniture. And then there was the boys' room and there was John Boy's room. So there were actually only three bedrooms that we used that became four bedrooms. And then there was a little bit of um, up at the top of the stairs you could go down and around a corner just a bit, again, small holding space. And then what was sort of the access to the attic, which if that was ever used, would have been a separate set someplace on stage 26. 
The other things that were on stage 26 were the interior of Ike Godsey's store. So that was always fun. We knew when we were gonna be shooting in Ike Godsey's store that um, it would, all the props and everything would be put in place and the candy counter would be stocked. So I remember when I was young, I was like, oh, we're filming in Ike Godsey's store today. So there will be like fresh candy in there. And I go in and I'm sure I wasn't the only one who went in and sampled the candies in, in Ike Godsey's store on the counter there. Also on stage 26 would be the interior of the Baldwin's house. So their parlor that you saw all the time and sometimes you saw the room where the recipe still was. So those were sets that um, they would put together on stage 26 when those sets were gonna be used. It was a pretty big stage. So sometimes when there was another set that only got used once, for some other purpose, they would build it right there on our stage and then it would be there for the duration of that episode and then it would be torn down and repurposed for something else. Uh, none of these spaces on stage 26 had ceilings to them. Virtually all the walls were movable, so if the camera needed a different angle, they could take one of those walls out and set up the camera from that angle. Everything had lights rigged from above, and it was very tall in there, so they had uh, lots of catwalks and things up there, and they could move lights all around, drop down rigging all around the edges of the, of the given space, and light from there. Or they would just move their big lights around on the big stands that they were on and light in that way. So that's a sneak peek behind the Walton House, both the interior and the exterior. Um, so hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you're enjoying the videos and I'll be back with more behind the scenes of the Waltons.